Totally. All right, guys. Hi. Welcome back to Good Day. Uh, taking some notes here for uh, carving some pumpkins. And this is Paolo Machado. He's an expert. We're not up to the speed here. This is what he does. No right, way. What is the website? <laughs> We're not even close. MachadoPumpkins.com. MachadoPumpkins.com. He has some tips there, too. Remember, for the little kids, if you're going to pumpkin farm, thanks to Uncle Ray's for uh, mm -hmm. giving these pumpkins to us so we can uh, carve. And uh, here, this is what he did. This is what it looks like. So after you open the top. So you open the top. It has all the... And it has all these Pumpkin guts seeds. right here and the seeds and stuff. This is actually pretty good. So you want to scoop that out, and that's what you come up with this little kit that you can buy. Yeah. At you know stores, it comes with a little baby saw and this. Make sure, of course, you're monitoring your kids and helping so, them out. So once you you carve that the inside, the top of it off, and the inside, what do you do? You want to do something simple. You just you want to carve the mouth. And you have special knives, though. You have yeah, fancy I, I, knives. I have, I have all these tools that I use. See? What do you ribbon call these? Tool. These are, like these, these are or Yeah, ribbon tools. The, these are used for uh, clay carving, knives. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but this is a simple design that anybody can do. And uh, parents out there, kids, uh, I would watch kids with knives, but anything else like that, simple design like this, and I think will uh, win the kids over. All right, when you're picking out your pumpkin, make sure that it's smooth. Mm -hmm. You want a stem that's preferably green, not, and don't pick it up by the stem here, oh. you know, and make sure there's no bruises and no rotting here, so make sure it's pretty firm. So Tessa, what's your design? So I did a, just a basic jack-o'-lantern, uh, but I, I, love it. I did the mouth a little bit different. And uh, I, I thought it was uh, it was a pretty easy, pretty quick project. But I you, also, and you got the tea light. I did. I put the tea light in there, and uh, and yeah. Here but it's a battery operated. Yes, tea light yes, I got some battery like operated this. tea light. Also, when I was uh, researching this uh, segment, I found out that because of the famine originally in Ireland, they didn't carve pumpkins. The original pumpkins were actually turnips, oh. and they have them in a. They look like this. Oh, this is what oh, the original yeah. jack o' lanterns look like. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I think that's oh, creepier that's, than these guys. Right? That's pretty freaky. That's super <laughs> not as scary as a sack uh, Republic FC. <laughs> okay, with Ooh, what you got? Scary at all. What's going on over okay, there? Okay, look at. So this is Evan's idea. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we just thought of like. Well, you, well, you like the sun. I like the sun because weather, you know. Some rays in we there. Ah, rays. Yeah, okay. there yeah. you go. And you he's got all ten fingers still. Yeah, I still have ten fingers. Yay! And I was curious how long those took to make because I think my face looked like that this morning trying to w trying to wake up. <laughs> I wake up to get he here did this one three o'clock. days ago, and he did that one last night, and it's a little bit more. We fresh. say it took like about three hours. About three hours. Three wow. hours. It, it depends on how much detail you want to put that into is it. Fantastic. But three look, hours is three, three and a half hours. When you look at a pumpkin, do you see a face? Sometimes. Sometimes I start carving and it just comes to me. There you go. Well, thank you, Paula, for coming in. No problem. Thank and you. And thanks, everybody, for participating. Have fun with your kitties. Use the tea lights, too. Stuff. Yeah, better than real candles. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Good job, everybody.